we are starting off with a double maned reef because double reefed main <laughs> because it is supposed to be pretty darn windy out there and the sea state is gonna be fun we're gonna find out bye bye Maria it's really nice and calm going out of the path but I have a feeling that might change tomorrow morning uh, to get a smaller sail, a smaller jib, a stay sail. Can't really read self-tacking jib, not on a boat like this. We need a smaller jib. We actually have the sail, we just don't have a way to hoist the sail or attach the sail. For all of you that feel really bad for us because even when we, we're at our maximum reef possible, that where the boat's going as slow as we can, and at 20 knots of wind, we're doing a little over 12 knots. And we appreciate your sympathies. And soon we'll be able to slow down into the eight to 10 knot range. And you know, you won't have to feel bad for us anymore. <laughs> Beautiful downtown port of Papayate. Thankfully, we're only going to be here for two nights, I think. So Ryan's meeting with Guillaume. He is one of the sailmakers here in Papayette. And Ryan's just explaining to him how... The luff is so much smaller that the uh, swivel is too low down. And then when, when they try to furl it, it just wraps the halyard around a bunch of times. So, Plus, it's difficult to, to switch the two sails. Yes. Yes. There's really no way with this, um, this smaller sail that we have that we are able to use it. So this is the, the whole idea of trying to see how we can use this brand new beautiful sail. Yeah, I'll show you the setup. I have an idea for how to maybe uh, position the furler, uh, but I don't know if it will work. Uh, the sail's set up to free hoist now so we can look. I'm concerned that it, we won't have enough um, distance for the luff, and I'm yes. concerned that the clue will be too low. Okay. But um, this is why you're here. Yes. The previous owner is a friend of ours, and he, um, he set the sail up to have a stay sail. And then I had to think of how to, uh, how to put it on a furler. I mean, I can go possibly well, the problem here is that this yeah. this sticks out. It would just break. Yeah, and this is big. I thought about a straw, you know, mm -hmm. but this is this is no. It's too much structural. I thought about just going only to here, but then the, it it makes the sail tilt a lot, and then we start getting expensive for an experiment. Right now, they're talking about they might have to cut the sail. I hope not. <laughs> Look at that brand new beautiful sail. Still super crisp. <gasps> no, don't cut it. I, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, of course. We it's, have to recut it. It's I a, think it's good. Okay, so now the question is, can we get enough tension for the uh, for the luff? No way. Okay. Uh, that's uh, but that's really not a hard job to reduce the head of uh, 10 or 15 centimeters. We have to. Cut the head just a little bit. Well, there we have it. Sail is 
on its way to the loft and um, I'm really hoping that we can get this sale to work because it's been quite the puzzle. Looking forward to it. We were ready to leave, but our starboard engine won't start. Then we started to smell like rubber burning. Now Ryan's down in that compartment and he's noticed that the starter is cold, but the solenoid is like baking hot. Okay, babe, metric. And you have the gray wrench kit too? I do. Can I have that first? Sure. Just can me the um just the fixed wrenches and the, the two smallest sizes. What's, what do you think the problem is? It's a short. The wire is carrying positive current, was pressed up against a nut. And the engine vibration just shoots it through the insulation, which then put positive current into the body of the solenoid, which is grounded to the engine, and that created the short. Got hot, engine didn't start, obviously, so I'm going to try to replace the wire. Normally, I catch those things. I'm kind of a little bit bummed at myself for not noticing that, but i um, glad it didn't end up worse. This is the way that fires get started, when you don't have um, short circuit protection and all the rest. Which is the other question, why didn't a fuse blow? So I gotta figure that out too. Good morning, it's been a few days now and wait till you see how this repair is going. Stay tuned! <laughs>